all of you for this international day of yoga the theme of this year's yoga celebrations is yoga for humanity as it has been already mentioned by dr sen kumar as well as vijay raghavan ji the international day of yoga was initiated on the basis of the resolution adopted by the un general assembly with the largest number of sponsors of 177 countries of the world in 2014 under the initiative of the prime minister of india shri narendra modi ji and this year's yoga is special in the sense that india is celebrating the 75th year of its independence so the whole country i would say the whole world is celebrating this as azadi ka amrit mahotsav so the government of india has planned that the this year's yoga will be celebrated in uh, across the world but is within that at 75 iconic places 75 spots of heritage this yoga is being organized and we are all becoming part of that uh, azadi ka amrit mahotsav where we are planning the we are having the yoga conducted at 75 iconic sites and i am happy that the government of india selected padmanabha swami temple as one of those 75 iconic sites and we are all fortunate to be having this yoga in the premises of padmanabha swami temple today about yoga sri both sen kumar ji and uh, vijay raghavan ji has mentioned this year one more uh, very significant aspect of the this year celebration is there is a guardian ring of yoga yoga ide samrakshana valayam it's happening across the world today morning it started in japan where the sun rises in the morning as it is known and from 3 o'clock in the morning as per indian time it started the guardian ring started in japan it will conclude in us and canada by late, late night 10 o'clock when it will be early morning in usa and canada so throughout the day from 3 o'clock to 10 o'clock yoga will be happening in various countries of the world which will be live telecasted by different channels under the initiative of the doordarshan so today's entire day is will be filled with yoga and this is another aspect of uh, this year's celebration friends in another 2 to 3 minutes the prime minister will be addressing us he is conducting he is addressing us from the he is going to perform yoga from mysore in our neighboring state very close to kerala and as it has been mentioned by vijay raghavan ji that the international day of yoga has really made, taken it to the people it has taken it across the globe yoga has been known since centuries but across the globe it has become a way of life a way of observation and during the period of this covid every one in the humanity realized what's the benefit of having conducting yoga doing yoga on a regular basis and the government of india's ayush ministry ayush ministry has brought out very simple yoga protocol and you will be experiencing that today yoga sometimes feel that it is very difficult to perform some of the asanas are very difficult to do but today you will experience that the modern days the the problems that with the lifestyle diseases including the lifestyle diseases i don't uh, forget i am not uh, uh, the the uh, what vijay raghavan ji told about uh, people with different uh, uh, abilities including them but for the way of life and the various issues associated with way of life 
to overcome that yoga has proven to be a very very effective remedy so i don't want to extend my uh, speech my words because you will all be waiting to hear the prime minister speak from uh, mysore before he starts his yoga at 7 o'clock so 6:40 he is supposed to speak so let me conclude and wish you all the best on this day and for the days to come through yoga let us all become more healthy more peaceful in mind it's not only for the body but it is mind body and the soul so all these aspects will be taken care of by this yoga thank you all